Good evening, everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, hindi pa TGIF, but every day is something that you should thank God for. No? Um, anyway, I'm Pastor Kiss. Tonight, you may have come here to be encouraged, or you may have been passed by a friend, or you desire more of God in your life just when you hunger for God's grace. Wherever you are, ano man yung reason mo bakit nandito ka, God will meet you. Tonight, I will be sharing Psalm 3. Ito po ang naging awit ni King David, the time that he fled from his son Absalom. So if you have your Bibles with you, let's read it all together. Babasahin ko siya sa NLT, but whatever your version may be, feel free to join me in reading it out loud. So, from um, Psalm 3, a Psalm of David regarding the time David fled from his son Absalom. Verse 1, O Lord, I have so many enemies, so many are against me, so many are saying, God will never rescue him. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, you are my glory the one who holds my head high. I cried out to the Lord, and He answered me from His holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face. Shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. So bless the word of the Lord tonight. Uh, bago po tayo magsimula, no, malalangin tayo. So, Ama, kapasalamat kami sa gabi nito na dinakulong kami panganoon para mag-aral ng iyong salita. Thank you, God, for your presence is with us. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom and understanding that will allow us now to understand your word. Thank you for every heart. Lord, na nandito na handang magpabago sa'yo, handang um, tumupo sa'yo, handang makinig, Lord God, at, at sumunod sa salita mo. Lord, pinagpala ang mga tengang nandito ngayon. So we just want to thank you, Lord. Uh, we honor your word. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Salamat, Panginoon, that as we continue to hide your word in our hearts, itulungan kami sa'yo to live pure and holy life we thank you, we honor you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. So, uh, dadaan, dadaanan natin yung mga verses. No? It's a short passage, uh, pero grabe rin yung mensahe na, na meron yung Panginoon dito in the life of King David. The title of my devotion, or the title of our devotion today is Song of Safety. Ayan, ito yung naging awit ni David at his song of safety while he was fleeing from his son Absalom. Now, just a little context. What was happening here is um, si Absalom, he conspired against his father. So, pinuha niya yung puso ng mga tao ng, ng mga taga-Israel, ng mga Israelita, at um, pinuha niya ito towards him and against his father. So, nagkaroon ng rebellion. No? There was rebellion, there was conspiracy, and up until the end na uh, tumatako si David para sa buhay niya because he knows that um, he will die if he won't. Alright, so that's a short context, but if you want to read it, it ends 2 Samuel 15. Yung kabuon ng storya, nandun po yan sa 2 Samuel 15. So, let's go to verse 1. Sabihan, oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. No, uh, makikita natin dito, as we have known David as someone who is very transparent with the Lord, uh, ramdam-ramdam natin yung emotion niya while he was um, saying this song unto the Lord. Oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. It's not just his son, but it's everyone na naging kakonsyaba ng mga anak niya. And, mind you, 
uh, itong enemies na to ay hindi hindi po siya nagkaroon ng kaaway dahil nakagawa siya ng masama. Uh, he had enemies nung time na uh, inanert siya, no? Marami sunasunod yung mga naging kaaway niya. And now, it, it directly his son absolutely. Just imagine how hard it is, how overwhelming the situation is. And if you were, if you are a father, uh, ang hirap, ang hirap nito, no? Para ang hirap nito pasanin kasi sarili mong anak has turned his back against you. Um, in verse 2, it says, So many are saying God will never rescue him. So it's not just what he feels, but uh, it's not just what he sees, but it's also what he hears. So he's been hearing less na, Oh, I know. Ano niyo ang Diyos mo? No, it's not the first time that um, that David received this kind of mockery. That now, where is your God? No, um, I know na we are familiar with how people also mock Jesus. Ano sa bing Diyos mo? No, in times na God is silent, sometimes um, or ganito nga na dumadanas tayo ng matinding pagtubo or there, you are going to an overwhelming situation, sometimes you will hear this from people or from your persecutors. If you are going through persecution, you know uh, na maririnig mo to na nasan ba yung Diyos mo? O hindi ka na isahal ba yan? Um, the day of deliverance will not come. But uh, this is what the enemy wants him to believe. Alright, so lesson din po sa atin no, na maging maingat tayo dun sa mga bagay na pinapakinggan natin. We have to listen to God's voice and not to the enemy's voice. The more that we listen to God's voice, um, that's when we that's when we receive peace, that's when we receive clarity, uh, that's when we feel safe. Alright? So maybe, let me just pause here before we move on to the next verse. Maybe you're also like David who's going through an overwhelming situation. Maybe someone betrayed you. Maybe um, someone's persecuting you. Maybe you feel like um, masa paligid yung, yung um, like you're facing enemies here and there. I think your enemies are surrounding you. But um, mer- the Lord wants to encourage you in this verse. In this chapter, the Lord wants to encourage you. Um, as as we go on to the next verses, you may have also known David as someone who, yung yung sabi ko kanina, he's very transparent with the Lord with what he fears and with what he's going through. You will read it from his psalm, in the uh, life group when we were, were having our daily devo and psalms. Feel na feel namin how, how David is so transparent with him. But it was also made clear to us that he is not just transparent with what he feels, pero even with his worship, it's out loud. Kung paano niya uh, pinataas ng Panginoon in his situation, it's very evident from some to some. And we will see that in verse Verse 3 says, But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my Lord, the one who holds my head high. Verse 4, I cried out to the Lord, and He answered me from His holy mountain. Lagi siyang may bot statement or yes statement. And this is what, his, what faith is. And the reason why He has this, mo kahit napakabigat ng pinagdadaanan niya. Bakit siya may pinaghuhugutan na but statement? And uh, as a declaration of who God is, it's simply because He knows God. We know how He, um, even before His anointing, and na yung matinding relationship niya kay Lord. He knows who God is. He knows what God can do for Him. Uh, kaya na lang po, uh, in times of difficult situation, meron pa rin siyang so, meron pa rin siyang pagsamba. And I want us to go, uh, isa-isahin natin itong kung paano niya 
sinanda yung ating Panginoon. Sabi niya, but you, O Lord, are the shield around me. This is a very fitting declaration of who God is because He feels um, sa time na po that His life is at risk na may threat sa buhay niya. But He has declared the Lord as the shield. And most likely, di ba, parang how we have viewed or kung paano natin na-picture yung shield. It's just the harap. Yung, yung nasa harap lang na shield. No? But look at how the Lord shields him. It, um, he, he surrounds him with himself. So, God uh, surrounds David with himself. Nakikita mo yung covering. So, it's not just in front, but in all sides. Up, on the side, the back. And that that's the reason why he has a song of safety. That's why he has a song of protection. Because he knows God will protect him. He is his protector. He is the sender. He is his shield. He is his refuge. He can run to God. Sabi sa, uh, I like it, what's, what's written in, in the Passion Translation, that he's covered by God's glory. Wow. Diba, uh, that's why I want you, I, this word is very encouraging. It, it's very encouraging. It's not a feel-good message, but it's a declaration of who God is. And the more that we know about, uh, we know uh, about God, we know His word, we know who He is, now we get to align uh, ourselves in that truth. So if God is a shield around us, we know that we are protected, we are safe, we are secure, we are the So next is, sabi niya, you are my glory. This is also very fitting to in this context because uh, when he says that, God, you are my glory, it's as if he's saying that, Lord, everything I have comes from you. They are trying to steal, to steal uh, my crown, but you are my crown. No, if hindi niya, hindi niya prinon ka kagad yung pagiging hari niya. Pero, it's as if the king, the small king, is looking to the king. The king of all kings. So, ganun niya sinabi, Lord, you are my glory. You are my crown. Um, ikaw yung hari. And, the next thing that he said about God is that, you are the one who holds my head high. Or in other versions, it says, you are the lifter of my head. True enough. Again, it's very fitting. Kaya nga, whenever we worship, no? uh, ano siya, ramdam na ramdam mo sa puso mo yung katotohanan na, Lord, this is who you are. Lord, this is who you are. Um, so, sinabi niya dito, uh, the Lord is the lifter of my head. So, it, um, in 2 Samuel 15, there was a verse there that says that, that because of what's going on, David covered his head and he was in mourning. So, of course, this is what's going on. Sino nga ba ang sinong ama ang hindi, hindi iyak, hindi magusot dito. Not just for the situation, but for his son also. So, literally, his head is covered. If you can just picture it, his head was bowed low. Diba, naka, naka, naka low siya because of what he's going to, yung bigat na pinagkalaanan niya. Um, but look here, sabi niya, Lord, you lift my head up. Sabi ng, sinasabi niya na, Lord, you are, you are my encourager. You are my joy. So, if you need encouragement right now, if you have been crying, if, you, if your head has been bowed low, because of, of the heaviness of your burden, of, of this overwhelming situation, be reminded that God is the lifter of your soul. He is the one. He is, he is the, the reason why you can smile. It's not a fake smile. It, it's coming from within because you know that it's God who's comforting you, who's um, turning your mourning into dancing, your sorrow into joy. Verse 4 says, I cried out to the Lord, and He answered me from His holy mountain. 
ang gandang example na ibinigay sa atin ni David that if we're going through this difficult situation, we don't just cry. Alam mo, for the sake of crying. Uh, we don't just run to um, people agad-agad or to your leader agad-agad or disciples. But you, you cry out to the Lord and you run to the Lord. So He knows who to run to. He knows that deliverance only comes from God. And His faith says na sasagutin siya ng Pino. He cries out to the Lord. He answered me from His holy mountain. Let's go to verse 5 and 6. Or verse 5 muna. Sabi dyan, I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. This is a picture of stillness. Just imagine. Sometimes I, we find it hard to sleep if we are going through a difficult situation. Diba parang um, it's running in your mind, lagi mo siyang iniisip, and sometimes it, it, it makes it difficult. Kaya nga meron mga sleepless nights, diba? But, him laying down and sleeping is a picture of stillness. And when I was reading this, I said, like, this is faith in action. You can ha- you can say something. You can you can be singing a song about your confidence in God. Um, you can be declaring it in your mouth. But still in practice, you still worry, you still can't sleep. Pero what I see here is that him laying down and sleeping is he puts his faith in action. He puts his faith in action. It's not just a matter of words. Pero he practices. Kaya siya natulog. Nakatulog siya. Um, humiga siya. Natulog siya. And sabi niya, yet I woke up in safety for the Lord was watching over me. So meron kami mga words na nakita in the, in the previous or yung mga succeeding na psalm how the Lord has been watching over people and that means na yung mata niya are on David his eyes are on David if maybe for a parent it's hard di ba paminsan nakakatulog ka because you get tired or may time din na nagigingan ka but the Lord watches over us 24-7 Hindi niya hinayaan na may makalapit na enemy kay David. Kaya pagising niya, he woke up in safety. That's his confidence in the Lord. And that's how God has proven himself to David. No, okay, he slept in peace and he woke up in safety. For the Lord was watching over him. Verse 6. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. This is very, ano, ito yung, ito yung picture, no, na kung ikaw lang, kung wala kang Diyos, it's one versus 10,000. And that's overwhelming. Parang, ano ka na yan, eh, dehado ka na, sabihin na natin, sa ligwahin natin, no, na dehado ka na yan, if it's one versus 10,000. But with God on your side, hindi ka dehado ka ba, eh? you're on the winning side because God is with you. Um, sabi nga sa, sa verse in the Bible, no? Um, if God is for you, who can be against you? No one. Kasi, kahit hindi isa ka lang, if God is for you, sure victory na yun. That's, a, that's an assurance of victory. Because na, it's God versus your 10,000 enemies. I don't know what you're going through right now. But this is an encouragement to you that you can sleep, you can lay down, you can sleep, and you will wake up and sleep because God is with you, God is for you, and who can be against you? No one. Verse 7 and 8 says there, Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God, slap all my enemies in the face. Shatter the peace of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. One thing about David is he did not take the matter into his own hands. 
hindi niya even vengeance. So he he did not take vengeance in his own hand, but he gave it to God. He he let God defend him. He let God rescue him. He let God do what is needed para sa kanyang mga kalaban. And indeed, towards the end, sabi niya, victory comes from me. He could have put um, his confidence on his card. Kasi he's a king, after all. Uh, kahit na he's been, uh, may tinat- tinatry siyang i-disnoon, he still have allies. He, he could have put his, his confidence on his allies or he could have run to his allies to other nations for protection. But he knows who to run to. Alam niya na it's God who will rescue him. He knows that it's not the chariot, it's not the, the, the strength and arms that will protect him or that will give him victory. But victory comes from God and God alone. And lastly, last line, may you bless your people. I've been telling this a while ago, Pana. You may be going through an overwhelming situation right now. But in in this situation, hindi after the situation, you know, yung song of safety here, hindi siya, it did not come after deliverance. But it is why we are still going through an overwhelming situation. You know, I know then, at ikaw alam mo rin, na, na you can feel it in your heart. That God is creating a, a, a song of safety in your heart right now. Something that you can utter who God is. And as a result, uh, you can put your faith in action. Yeah, that you won't worry about it anymore. You will not. Uh, hindi mo na ko kontrolin din ng bagay na to. Hindi mo na siya hahawakan sa sarili mo kamay. But you will 100% give it to God. And you will be still. I know that you have been blessed by the Lord. You have come to know God even more. That He is your shield. He is your sword. He is the lifter of your life. And when you cry out to the Lord, He will hear you and He will answer you. So let me end with a short prayer. I want to pray for you. Um, may this word grow in your heart. May you love the Lord even more as you have come to know Him. May you rest knowing that God is in control, that God is sovereign, that God is above you. So let's say, Father, we just want to thank you for your word tonight. Thank you, Lord. I know, Lord God, na you are creating in your people a song of safety na makakanta namin, Lord, in times of persecution, in times, God, where our life is at risk, in times, God, where our enemies surround us, in times, God, where uh, we, meron kaming maririnig, Lord God, that you will never rest. Thank you, God, na ginagod mo yung heart namin sa the life of the enemy. Because you are our savior, you are our rescuer, you are our shield. And you watch over us. You watch closely over us. Your eyes are on us. For those who are struggling right now, they feel your comfort, God. For those, God, na uh, umiiyak, whose heads are bowed to God. Salamat, Panginoon, na ikaw yung maglalagay ng smile in their face, a joy in their heart, and a smile in their face. Thank you, God, uh, na lahat ng bagay ko ng mga pinagdadaanan namin, sinasabit namin sa Lord. You are our God. You are in control. Even Lord God, sa pagtulog namin, sa binit ko, salamat sa peace na magbabantay sa mga pagtulog ko ng iyong mga. Salamat sa Pinoon na tatanggalin mo sa amin yung restlessness and yung sleeplessness. And you will, um, you will Replace it with joy, with peace, with sleep. Thank you, God, that you are the one who sustains us. You are our salvation. Victory comes from you and you 
alone. May your name be lifted up. May your name be exalted. We praise you. We bring back to you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Before we end, let me just remind you of our river word. It's every Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Joshua 1 is, says, Do not let this book of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you will be careful to do everything that's written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. It's um, at 8 p.m. every night. Putas lang po tayo sa ating Facebook. And just as how you have been blessed tonight, alam ko puno ng notes and journal mo, find a friend who needs an encouragement and who also needs to hear this message. Um, take a step say, to share Jesus with your friends. So God bless you and good night.